Okay, so I'm here making a video. And, uh, yeah, this morning I did a video. And yesterday I've been talking about it. I've been talking for a long time. People are starting to say the same thing as me. Trump has got pride, too much pride. And after pride becomes a fall. And they're adding to his pride by praying. There, You can't stop the train that's coming, man. There's no going back now. There's going to be no reprieve. I believe Trump is going to get pulled out. But, you know, I could be wrong on that one. But it's still going to be the same outcome. So God's going to make a, a point of this to these people that are praying for Trump. And, oh, Trump is the only one that's going to save us. They're putting all their belief in th that we'll get another reprieve. How many years have we're overdue for the visit from Jesus Christ as it is? How many years do people actually need to come to the Lord? This is time for us not praying for against God and what he's allowing to happen, but to pray for your soul and the many that are around you. Bring people to Jesus Christ. Get yourself right. Quit praising a man. It's ridiculous. The Christians are blind to it. God made the foolish, brought the foolish to confound the wise, but the wise won't listen. They think they know it all. And I'm not saying I know it all, but this is in the Bible. And before they destroyed Egypt and freed the Israelites, people like me, the foolish, were coming and telling the Sadducees things that were going to happen. They didn't believe them, and they happened. So how many more times? China's not in the same predicament because they already did all this stuff. They've already vaccinated, probably, and they're not telling. But that's why they don't have all these laws and restrictions, because they killed millions of people in China to bring forth the system that's going to go out to the whole world. And that's why. Why they don't go through them? Because they've given themselves over to the beast and took their new citizenship and everything that we're going to have to go through. I just don't get it how Christians, the ones that have been reading the Bible, can't see some of the easiest things like rapture isn't real. And they're teaching these false doctrines. And then they go out and make a, a show saying the false prophets will come when they're one themselves. Hypo hypocrites. That's what Jesus called them in, when he was flipping the table. You guys are all hypocrites. You of the serpent seed. I am not. There's none of me in you and none of you in me, he said to Satan. King David lost his child because he cheated and tried to murder the husband, Bathsheba. God said, I'm taking that child. No matter how much he prayed and how much he uh, supplicated and fasted over that child, God took that child. This is what we're in right now. And they're making it worse by praying against the Bible and what God's playing out. Just start you know, and hey, we have to have mercy on the people, of course. That's why we, God put us here, to help bring them to God. Have mercy on them, but quit praying against what the Bible's going to play out. It's ridiculous. Anybody that puts someone on their show and that says, pray for Trump, it's going to get better if Trump doesn't get in. And all the prophecies made on Trump, it's going to turn around and bite them. Mercy on God, mercy on your souls. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Come to Jesus. The time is running out, man. These camps are going to be opening up, and I'm going to be one of the first. So you're not going to hear from me in the times you're going to need me. I'm not going to be there to teach you. So just ask God to teach you and the Holy Spirit to teach you, and He will, like He has me. He's given me discernment. I've been saying these things before these channels have been saying a long time. And I was getting rebuked by so many people for telling the truth. And yet they all run to one pastor on uh, YouTube. He's not going to get kicked off. Why? 
because them who don't love the truth love a lie. And you, thank you for listening. God bless. And I'm not going against the church. I'm, I'm just telling you. I see him. I'm, I'm playing it out straight, man. Give me a thumbs down and give Jesus a thumbs down. That's what it's about.